talk about your training? Like how much you do and how much you do in the pool versus lake and that kind of thing? Um, in the summer when our lake melts, we can uh, we swim a lot in the lake. So we'll go at least three times a week during the school week and then most days on the weekend. But um, I swim seven days a week, uh, twice every day except for a Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday. And your yard is about how much you train? Um, it's usually around nine to 100,000 meters. Per week? Yeah. 100K. 90 à 100 km par semaine. How about you, Fran? What's your training? Uh, my, my training is a little bit different than Eva's. Uh, like I said, I'm 10 years older. And when I was Eva's age, I swam um, 12 practices a week. And I would do uh, doubles every day, and then Saturday and Sunday. So um, a lot of practices. and. Uh, now that I'm older, uh, my weeks all depend on uh, how I'm swimming because I always want to be swimming fast. And so some weeks I'll go 11 sessions and then uh, six more dry land sessions where I do like the basset trainer and the things like that. So that's, and then running, on, so that's maybe like 17 sessions in the week, the way I look at it. Um, but uh, everything is always depending on how well I'm swimming, so I try to stay focused on swimming well. Uh, so I would say I probably swim around 80,000 meters a week um, on an average, and maybe a little bit less than Eva, but uh, I have these things that are called muscles. <laughs> Eva doesn't really have those yet. So. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what mortar she has, if she doesn't have that <laughs> yet, but she has quite a mortar already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is the driving training? Uh, what are you doing for driving training? Uh, are you doing a lot of uh, weightlifting or something like that, Eva? And what was the, what the proportion of? I don't do uh, any weightlifting, but I do a lot of cardio-based stuff, so I put on the spin bike. Mm -hmm. um, it's four days a week. And then I also do a lot of saddle trainer work because that's uh, more specific strength training them. And uh, we also do a lot of medicine ball and uh, like stretch work and resistance training. Yeah, uh, my, my dry line is uh, pretty, uh, pretty intense. And it's about, like I said, six sessions a week and it's anywhere from an hour to two hours is one session. And uh, it mixes in uh, running and the basset trainer and uh, different exercises, but I don't do any weight training um, because I'm training for an event that takes two hours. And maybe if I was training for a 200 freestyle or a 50 freestyle or 100 freestyle, then I would do more weight training. Um, but I also look at um, you know doing push-ups and pull-ups and that's the trainer as you know that sort of weight training as it is. And um, but I think it's important because I think it's very important to be able to be strong. Uh, in your races and uh, to be a strong swimmer. And uh, I was joking about muscles, but Eva is a very strong swimmer uh, for her own body weight. She can do a lot of pull-ups and a lot of, you know, a lot of things like that. So I think that's very important. Thank you. Um, my question for Eva: How do you deal like being a world champion, like being 16? Um, well, before this, I didn't really have any world titles, and I had just one national title. So I've just been working hard and just learning so much from my older teammates like Fran. So that's really what I did. Did you, did you have any doubts because of your size? Obviously, we have some small swimmers too, and uh, maybe did you ever feel this was a handicap compared to some of the girls? That yeah. see, you know, the, um, I think a little bit when I first started, it was uh, kind of intimidating being small, but... No, they all want to be small. Yeah. My <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's like friends that I do a lot of pull-ups and like the strength of body weight ratio is really important. So I have I just don't really pay attention to it anymore, so... Okay, you bien compris. The uh, question was, the fact that the si fact that she is not very big, she is not very corpulent, and if she Elle considérait que c'était un handicap. De, euh, au début, un peu oui, mais plus maintenant, c'est pas une affaire qui la préoccupe. Puis ce que, ce que je disais, c'est que suite à ce qui est arrivé hier, toutes celles qui sont très grandes, puis tout ça, vont, vont peut-être vouloir devenir petites. <rire> okay.
If all goes miles as you swim, how do you keep injury free? Um, I do uh, shoulder exercises, and um, I don't know that I've ever been really, um, injured from them. I just shoulder exercises, and then I don't really have shoulder pain or anything. But I think the the tubing exercises I do with shoulders, like the upper grips and something, that's really important. Do you do anything special, Frank? Um, no, I think that. Um, for me, I've never been injured, and uh, it's pretty rare because I've had a very long career and I've never uh, had an injury, but I think that uh, what was important was when I was younger, uh, you know, growing up throughout the sport, I was, you know, taught to swim um, uh, with good technique, and my coaches uh, didn't push me too hard at a younger age. I played all different sports. Uh, it was actually the first time that I only swam was when I went to college, when I went to university. And I was 19 at the time because I played water polo in high school. And before that, uh, I played soccer and basketball and baseball and those sort of things growing up. So I always had a balance and an athletic balance. And I think that that's important too. And uh, because I think the, the big thing about swimming is that, you know, it's very hard and there's a lot of training involved, but it, you have to pick it. You can't let your, you know, your parents pick it or your friends pick it. If, you more, if you're more passionate about something else, um, I, th I would encourage you to pursue what you love to do, not what somebody else loves for you to do. And uh, the sport is entirely too hard to be unhappy. And I think if you look at Eva, um, to me her gift is her smile. If she can do anything, she can swim 10K, 20K, 25K, it doesn't matter, but she'll come out smiling. And she always has a great attitude, and that's why she's successful and world champion. And if you can, you know, try to be like that, and like I said, I'm 26 and she's 16, and she says that she learns from me, but I try to learn from her because of her smile and the way she is always happy and conducting herself, you know, and having a great, you know, great time. And I think that that's important, and that, to me, helps you stay injury free by having a great outlook and great, you know, positive, everything's always positive. Okay, uh, je, 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 je vais traduire un peu là, ce, qui, ce qui vient de se dire parce que c'est très important. Question d'Eric à l'effet, comment est-ce qu'il peut faire autant de millages, autant de millages, puis euh, finalement euh, pas avoir de blessures, et puis euh, euh, c'est un peu, ça rejoint ce qu'Eric vous disait juste avant. Hein. Il a parlé que, que quand il a commencé à grandir là-dedans, que les coachs ont insisté beaucoup, beaucoup sur la technique. Tu sais, quand on vous dit, puis qu'on vous répète à un moment donné, que tu échappes ton bras comme ça, puis après ça, tu es obligé de grimper par-dessus au lieu d'entrer dans la bonne position, puis tout ça. Ça, c'en est des façons d'éviter ça. Puis des exercices au, à terre aussi. Puis lui, euh, ce que Fred nous disait, c'est que peut-être le, le, le plus grand cadeau qu'elle a, c'est son sourire. Pensez-y, là. Le plus grand cadeau, le plus grand talent qu'elle a, c'est son sourire, c'est ce qu'il vient de dire. Ça veut dire qu'elle est heureuse dans ce qu'elle fait. Et si c'est une autre chose qui vous passionne que nager, nagez pas parce que ça plaît à vos parents, nagez pas parce que ça plaît à quelqu'un d'autre, nagez parce que ça vous plaît à vous autres. Et si ça vous plaît pas, et que c'est autre chose que vous aimeriez faire, s'il vous plaît, faites-le. Euh, c'est un sport qui est trop difficile, qui est trop dur, qui est techniquement tellement exigeant qu'il faut vraiment vouloir le faire. What's your favorite moment uh, during your race? My, our favorite moment. 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 Yeah. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you touch the plug, it's arriving. Would you say, this question goes to both of you, would you say that the men's race is a bit different than the women's race? And if so, how? 